channel. Today's class, I am going to teach about how to write the test bench very large HDL port for full ladder cycle. So, previous videos we discussed the normal very large HDL port for full ladder cycle. So, this program comes under behavioral model. So, first I draw the block diagram. So, after drawing the block diagram, assigning the input variables and output variables. So, it is a simple block diagram for full ladder circuit. So, in this full ladder circuit, it has a three inputs. So, A, B, C in. So, these three variables comes in the input variables. And this full ladder circuit produce two output. One namely called as sum. Another one namely called as C out. So, C out represent carry output. C in represent carry in. So now I am going to write the truth table. Truth table for full ladder. So A, B, C in. These three variables consider input variable sum and C out. These two variables consider as the output variables. So these three input variables making eight combinations of input. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, double 1, 1, double 0, 1, 0, 1, double 1, 0, triple 1. So, just adding these three variables, you can get sum and carry out. So, sum is 0, carry 0. So, sum value 1, carry 0, sum 1, carry 0 sum 0 carry 1 so sum value 1 carry 0 so sum value 0 carry 1 sum 0 carry 1 sum 1 carry 1 when all the three bits said to be 1 in this case the sum value said to be 1 and carry value also said to be 1 that's a truth table of uh, half adder, sorry full adder circuit so using this truth table now I am going to write the test page very long HTML code for full data. So as usual first I write module. Then module name is test. So test is the module name. So after declaring the module name, then next step is declaration of input variables and output variables. So input variables set as register. Output variable set as yr. So first I declare input variables rich a comma b comma c. So these three variables consider as input variable. Then declaration of output yr sum comma c out. So these two variables consider as output variable, these three variables consider as input variables. Then next, full ladder. So it's a module name. While you're writing the very large HDL code, there you mentioned the module name. That name is reflected here. So full ladder, DUT. DUT means device under test. Within a bracket, mention the input variables and output variables. So, output variable is sum and carry sub C out. Input variables are A comma B comma C A. So, these three are the input variables, these two are output variables. Then next line, initial. Then begin the operation. So, after begin statement, so declare dump file. So already I told this instruction is used to uh, simulate the code. So dump file. File name is test.vcd. Then dump variables 1. So these two instructions are help to simulate the program. Then next assigning the input variables and verify the result. So in first input a value is 0, 
b value equal to 0 c value equal to 0 so after 10 nanoseconds display the output so using the instruction del of display so a equal to b percentage of b so this percentage of b represent binary value b equal to percentage of b c equal to percentage of b then sum equal to percentage of b c out equal to percentage of b a comma b comma c in so here represent c in so c in comma sum comma c out so after 10 nanoseconds a value b value c value just put it here then verify the sum and carry out then take the second input values so 0 0 1 now a value equal to 0 b value equal to 0 c in equal to 1 after 10 nanosecond we will check the output result so del display a equal to percentage b b equal to percentage b c in equal to percentage b sum equal to percentage b c out equal to percentage b then a comma b comma c in comma sum comma c out then we go for the third input 0 1 0 so a value 0 b value 1 c in equal to 0 after 10 nanoseconds changing the input values the corresponding output will display on the screen so display a equal to percentage of b b equal to percentage of b c in equal to percentage of b sum equal to percentage of b c out equal to percentage of b then a comma b comma c in comma sum comma c out so likewise you mention all the input values and verify the result so this goes up to final input values 1 1 1 so then end so end the process end module so this is the simple verilog hdl code test bench verilog hdl code for full order cycle so first you draw the full order block diagram then assigning the input variable and output variable so input set as register output variable set as wire then you write the truth table so here it's a three variable three variable in the sense it's making eight combinations of input the corresponding output also write it here then module module name declaration of input variable and output variable then full adder already i told this name reflect in the very large HTML code so normal very large HTML code that name is reflect here dud represent device under test then initial begin these two instructions are help to simulate the program then a equal to 0, b equal to 0, c in equal to 0. After 10 nanoseconds, you verify the result. So, this step continue up to 1, 1, 1. So, finally, you put n and n module instruction. I hope you understand the concept very well. If you are watching first time in my video, kindly subscribe and support us to make a lot of videos. Thank you.